so today we will see the uh, ulama chat uh, it's a visual representation of the uh, llms uh, which which can be served via ulama so uh, here you can interact with all the llms uh, which which can be supported by ulama okay so let's get started so at the end you will see uh, this sort of uh, interface uh, via streamlit and uh, in this here you see uh, select models so here you will see a list of models uh, you pulled from via Olama uh, on your machine. Okay, and uh, here's the option to enable streaming uh, if you want the output in streaming uh, form. Otherwise, you can disable it. Okay. Uh, so uh, and we also have uh, add some markdown and uh, latex support for the better uh, display of the output. Okay. So let's get started. Uh, first of all, let's select the DeepSeek R1. And we will uh, ask a question like uh, how many R's are in the word strawberry? So when we enter, so here is first the thinking part, and after thinking, uh, we have a uh, we have total number of uh, three three R's in the word strawberry. Okay, so uh, this is a, a deep seek R one. Okay, uh, let's check uh, lama three. Point two, okay. Uh, for this, let's suppose uh, we can ask, uh, give me a code to URL. So let's see. So here is a code. Or to request a URL in Python, so we can just copy it from here and then uh, use it. Okay, so uh, after this, uh, let's jump into the code. So I I upload all the code uh, here on uh, GitHub uh, in my this uh, GitHub repo uh, Olama chat. Uh, we will uh, for now we support just uh, text models. Uh, I mean uh, we have the just input to uh, text model, and uh, in our next versions we will. Uh, support the uh, documents and uh, pictures as well so uh, this is a nice documentation i added with this uh, repository you have to simply just clone this repository from here uh, like you can open the uh, command terminal and then uh, you have you can just git clone this repository okay and after cloning uh, now jump to the code stuff okay so I already uh, cloned it. So here is the uh, readme file, and uh, every step is uh, uh, I explain every step here in this uh, readme file. Uh, you can go to it. Like first step is uh, you have to uh, clone. You have these prerequisites like the requirements like Python 3.10, and then you have to uh, install uh, Ulama installed. You can install it uh, on via this their uh, uh, site like ulama you can download it from here uh, for your for your operating system okay uh, and then after that you have you have to clone this repository uh, and then you have to navigate to that repository and there's a sim sample uh, i added uh, there are few more samples i added uh, you can see you will see it uh, in this samples folder okay uh, and then this Basically, for in this project, uh, I am uh, maintaining the backend and front end separately, uh, totally. So the backend is uh, fully is, uh, on a fast API, and the uh, front end is on uh, Streamlit. Okay, so uh, you can uh, you can uh, run the uh, you can first set up the backend by uh, installing these requirements. Uh, you can uh, also, uh, if you want to create a um, virtual environment, you can create it. Uh, and then you can then uh, in a in new terminal you can uh, start running the uh, uh, the uh, you can set up the uh, uh, front end as well uh, if you want to set a separate environment for that as you can create that one as well and then install the requirements uh, inside the front end for front end uh, so after that uh, you can uh, you have some configuration uh, for Olama. Like uh, you have to uh, start Olama like with Olama serve, and in, in new terminal you can uh, pull the model which you want you want to use.
choose uh, like suppose I go here and uh, from here I can uh, start a mod like uh, I can select this model for example and then I want I want the 14b version of it so I can just copy this and uh, just paste it in the uh, in the command terminal so it will uh, download this particular model for me okay uh, after this uh, here are some configuration for the dot uh, env or uh, the environment variables so for that i gave uh, this particular uh, examples that env so you can replace it uh, via uh, or uh, just replace this uh, rename this file via dot env just uh, like this one okay and here you can uh, you can add the uh, you can add uh, this uh, sort of the uh, ulama host so the by default the ulama host is this uh, if you you host the ulama on any other uh, device or any other machine uh, in your network local network so you can uh, give the uh, the uh, ip for that uh, particular machine but you have to configure that ip uh, in the ulama service uh, on that machine okay uh, after this uh, there's a uh, environment variable for uh, front end as well. Uh, in front end, you have you have to uh, you have to add this backend URL like uh, on defa uh, by default the uh, fast API will be running on this uh, port and uh, this uh, URL. So you can add this. Uh, in your case, you can modify it as well. Okay. So after this. Uh, let's jump into the uh, code first uh, we will jump into the uh, backend code uh, for that here's a app and inside the app we have a utils file and utils file we have just this uh, uh, function for get ulama client uh, so it can get the ulama host from the env file so after this uh, here's a main file in main file we have first we have imported some libraries and uh, we also have this uh, uh, core configuration uh, if you want to host it somewhere so it will be helpful for you and here we uh, uh, we, uh, we initiated the fast api uh, and then we call the client so client uh, we import client from olama and then after this uh, here's that uh, we have some we have class uh, for the model message and stream uh, if stream if stream is a boolean we we sign the first uh, in the front end and here we have a endpoint a first api endpoint like chat okay so for chat uh, it adds a async uh, so chat endpoint and here is a code for the generation of the uh, of the output from the llm okay uh, so and there here is a uh, another uh, uh, endpoint for the uh, models like how uh, it will get the models from uh, from the or list the models uh, we have in the Olama uh, or the um, uh, we have in the uh, in the Olama service. Okay, so after this, let's uh, jump to the uh, front end code. For front end code, you can see in the this app.py, and here we have imported some libraries. Uh, and after this, we have also imported the uh, streamlit modules in. Um, is hide upside so after this we have a configuration uh, for the backend url by default it is this url and it can take the url if it's different from uh, from this default so it can it will take it from the environment variable and then by default the model is this one uh, and then uh, here is a thinking style or like the uh, 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 like this is this is just for the uh, uh, for the uh, uh, the template of while the model is thinking it's a background template okay uh, after this uh, we have the uh, initialize session uh, function also get uh, models function like list of models we have uh, and then we have uh, here we can request the models from yeah, this okay this endpoint and then uh, the uh, chat completion uh, in chat completion uh, we have uh, the payload in payload we uh, we pass the model the message or the query from the uh, user and this stream if stream is enabled so it will stream otherwise it will not if stream if stream is enabled then it will give us a uh, the request will be like this and then if not so the request will be like this okay uh, after this 
the uh, here is a process uh, uh, process response so the response will be processed like this actually i add this uh, these two uh, functions uh, for just the representation of the uh, thinking uh, thinking process like here is a thinking process in few models like uh, the recent we have uh, deep seek so for that i want to separate this thinking process from the actual answer uh, so actually i add this process uh, response uh, function uh, or you can skip it as well but uh, this is just for the nice representation of the thinking and uh, actual response okay uh, on front end uh, after that uh, here is we have a, a uh, display message function okay so it will be in a markdown sort of thing and then after that we have a main function in main function we have a title for that uh, for that uh, ui and then uh, or we can say this olama chat, olama chat and then we initialize the session after that we have a sidebar and sidebar we have a list of models and also we have a, a stream enable or disable uh, disable uh, option and then we have uh, the Yes, select uh, selected mode sort of thing. Uh, it will display the model we uh, we selected, and after that, here's a we added some uh, this uh, stuff like uh, we enabled the markdown and uh, data support sort of thing. Okay, uh, after that, uh, here we have a chat interface. Uh, we can see it in a, on the front end, and then uh, we have we can prompt like. Uh, the user can prompt and it will assist the assistant will assist us so here is all the dead stuff here so it's the first version of uh, this olama chat and we will release some uh, new versions in that we will also add a support for the document parsing and then also for the images uh, as an input uh, for the uh, models like uh, lava and others so we can add, we will be adding some new features in it uh, in coming soon so for now you can uh, if you want to use this so you can uh, use it from by here uh, by just uh, cloning this repository uh, or if you want uh, to contribute in this so you can uh, just for uh, make a, your uh, fork this repository and and then uh, do changes in it and then make your own branch and then uh, make a full request so uh, that's all for this video i uh, hope you like it and it might give you some knowledge so thank you so much see you in the next one